So let me give you a quick update on Google's instant indexing API. A lot of people are commenting these days on my videos and other videos that this API stopped working and you cannot index your blog post anymore using this API. Actually, it did not stop working. It is still working, but there is some change in the instant indexing API. What happened now? This API is working how it's supposed to be working. Let me give you an example and then you can understand what change in this instant indexing API. Okay, you can see the official page of Google Instant Indexing API. You can see the first line here, the indexing API allows any site owner to directly notify Google when pages are added or removed. And these pages can be job posting or broadcast event. And what happened? People use this API to index their blog posts which are not job posting or they are not broadcast events which are live. Actually, there is a glitch in this API. Before it was indexing all the blog posts, not just the blog posts which are job posting and broadcast events but any blog post. This was a glitch in this API. And you can see the example here in Rank Math here. Rank Math try this thing. They publish an article. You can see how you can get Google to crawl your website and even after it starts ranking in Google search engine. And it was indexed very fast. And this is blog post which is not job related post or not a live event. But obviously it was written job posting or broadcast event in a video object. But what happened? Recently Google changes this stuff. They need to change the language. You can see the first line here when pages are added or removed but now there's a new documentation you can see the same page when it is saying the new indexing api allows site owners to directly notify google when their job posting or live streaming video pages are added or removed you can see there's a change here they need to specify here job posting or live streaming video pages before it was not specified here it was written when pages are added or removed people are abusing this method and now according to new documentation they right here you can see if you scroll the page, all submissions through the indexing API undergo rigorous spam detection. Any attempts to abuse the indexing API include use of multiple accounts or other means to exceed usage quotas may result in access being removed. Learn about more spam policies. Now you are submitting any URL from your website using this API which is not a job post or any broadcast event. So as per Google, you are abusing this instead indexing API. I already created a complete video about it and this video multiple times. I explained that please use this API key only for short-lived content. For a content which is short-lived on internet. For example, a job post. Job post, you post like today and it, when it is filled, you're going to remove the job post. You're not going to keep job post on your website for like 2-3 months, 5 months. Or a live event. Live event should be indexed on Google very quickly. Because for example, right now you're live on your website. The live stream going to finish within a few hours. And this video I posted 9 months ago, I mentioned this thing multiple times. So now Google has to come out and specify, please don't abuse this API key. So if you're somebody who took the benefit of this glitch, when you can index any blog post, which are not even job related or not a broadcast event, it worked fine for you before, but do not do this mistake again. Do not try to use this instant indexing API keys for those kind of blog posts. Otherwise, Google algorithm will mark your website that you are sending the spam content because also mission through instant indexing API undergo rigorous spam detection. And it's again the Google spam policies. So if you used it, Fair enough, you took a lot of benefit, but stop doing it. So what is the conclusion of this video? What are the new rules? Please share this video with your colleagues who are still confused about instant indexing API. So conclusion is, you can still use instant indexing API, but only for job posts or broadcast events. And either kind of blog post, do not use it. Otherwise, the website will be marked as spam website and might be punished by Google algorithm. If you want to watch complete video that how you can use this API, if you have some content which is time sensitive, you can check this video on screen.